Here we have one 16mm scale, 32mm gauge industrial diesel locomotive. I think it was made from an IP engineering kit. That's what it was advertised second hand on eBay as. Um, anyway, wherever its origins, it's, it's quite a neat little thing. It's powered by a 3 volt lithium ion battery, which at the moment is a little bit prominent, but I'll disguise that as a petrol tank or a, an air tank or something later. And tucked away inside here is the latest RX65B Deltang receiver. More about that in a moment. Now, as with all Deltang stuff, it's controlled by the transmitter or any aerial, uh, aero transmitter will do. Um, turn the knob and off it goes in reverse. Turn the knob the other way and it comes in forward. Now here's the beauty of the RX65B. It has some nice nifty little extra features. One of which is this, which is auto shuttle mode. So when it comes towards the end of the track, it runs over a magnet, which is just here. And then there's a reed switch on the bottom of the loco, and that tells the receiver to go into auto shuttle mode in this case, it waits for 10 seconds before it changes direction, goes the opposite way. You can also program it to be in buffer stop mode, so that when it runs over the reed, uh, the magnet, it comes to a halt and then does nothing until you take over with the transmitter. It also has a station stop mode so that when it runs over the magnet it goes into the station, slows down, comes to a halt and then carries on in the same direction. Now all of the the times that it takes to slow down and the amount of time it stops can be programmed so the user can set it up for whatever their situation is. Now one of the the beauties of this system is that it will carry on running under its own steam without your intervention and even more so you can actually and I have to wait until it starts up again turn the transmitter off and just leave it running now for me that was one of the great added bonuses because I want to set this little uh, 32 millimeter gauge line up as a feeder to my uh, main railway and then have this loco and a couple of skip wagons trundling backwards and forwards from the copper mine to the interchange slidings all day if necessary well until the battery runs out without me having to worry about it or interfere with it so there it is the RX 65B from Deltang. If you want to get control back again, you turn the receiver on. It may take a little while for the transmitter and the receiver to talk to each other, but there we are. I'm now back in manual control.